from one to ten, you can't use seven. Straight out of the shower, your hair, no makeup. What do you rank yourself? Ten. No makeup. Ten. Ten. <laughs> ten. It's just, I guess, it's just my confidence. Ten. Take that confidence to a bank account with zero money and see how confident the ATM give you any money out. It's not a solution for young people. Hello. Hi. Traditional relationships are always going to be better off the younger you are. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. How old are you? I'm 36. All right. So we're talking about living uh, apart together or if you have a question about anything, what do you want? What are we talking about tonight? Well, I, I guess I can touch on living together. Um, I totally agree with, with what you're saying, especially with living the apart together. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. And I guess I would say I totally agree with you. And the reason why I feel I totally agree with you is because you're right. Um, with, with, with the way the world is changing people's tolerance, people's tolerance is way shorter nowadays. But like you said, they still want to, it's like, get away from me, but please love me. You yep. know what I'm saying? That's real. Um, you're getting on my nerves today, but once my attitude changes, let's go eat, you know? Uh, so I don't know if that's bipolar or just moodiness or whatever it is, but <laughs> if we can just... I blame, I blame history. It's been stolen from us. So we take on these identities and these different characters that we see on TV. And no one is really themselves anymore. I, I, think, I think more than anything else, we just have too much information. We're too overloaded. I mean, But the wrong information. Yes. Wrong, right. The subconscious brain does not, un the subconscious brain doesn't distinguish between good, bad, right, or wrong. It's all information. And this is not a solution for everyone, but just like you said, how many times do you hear people talk about they're in a relationship, but they can't stand the person when they're, when they're away from the person they want to be around them? We, people today across the board don't want to be in each other's space like our grandparents did. So I don't, um, the more I start to think about it, the more I start to think this is really going to, and this is, understand something, people, this is a trend worldwide. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's becoming a trend worldwide, so we might as well start talking about it. Yeah. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Okay. Um, do I, have, you, I mean, I've raised my sister. I don't know if that counts. No, no, no. Do you, uh, do you want, do you want a, to be married one day? I would like to be married one day, yes. I would you, like to find a distinguished gentleman and become married. Would you, pre would you prefer to live together or would you prefer to live, would you prefer a traditional setup or something different? I, I, I want a traditional man. I would yeah. I will love for God to bless me with the traditional man, the, mm. with the old, old antique heart. <laughs> well, <this> stuff. <laughs> well, now, you know, my views are various. I, you know me, I'm a Christian, but I believe that marriage is a natural choice. God blesses us with the 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What you doing to make sure you are uh, around these men and the kind of men that's going to pick you if he came into your presence. That's more important. Okay, I'm glad you answered that because I, I've been lately, I'm going to start with the appearance. Um, right now, I just got my real estate license. Um, I'm trying to build my little real estate business. I Traditional my, men don't care about business. No, no, no. That's not what I'm. That's not my point for saying that. My point for saying is I've been neglecting my appearance mm -hmm. so that I can won't look. I would say won't look homeless or ghetto or whatever. Whatever the classifications people want to put on women nowadays, I have not presented myself. Uh, with my appearance to mm -hmm. get out there and meet that type of man. Okay. Uh, well, then you ain't going to attract him. Exactly. And so I, I want to get there. I, I can honestly say I'm but, not, you see me now, no, no nothing. But, but at 36 years old, were you raised as a mother and father in the household? I will honestly have to say they were a young in love couple, but it turned uh, toxic. 
Okay. It, well, it, so at 36 years old, you know men are visual. Yes. Uh, why not? Why? Why just now start to worry about your appearance on, on the downside to 40? Now I have to now now let me now let me answer that as well. I just to make a long story short, I was voted um, in class of 02, I graduated class of 02. I was voted most conceited, so I used to be very into the heels and the nails and and I and I've and I've attracted a few millionaires in my twenties coming up because that was very important to me once upon a time. But then as I wanted to learn myself and I got, I wanted to dig deep and learn not to be shallow, learn how to be humble, learn how to put God first, learn not to just give my body to a man just because he say he loved me. Uh, let people prove, you know, that their intentions is, you know, all of that, you know, I, um, I lost the way of the, uh, the Sounds like you're just lazy to me. I'm getting. I have been. I can yeah, because all that because that was a nice way of saying that I attracted a millionaire. That that don't take nothing except having an ass and, and some titties. That's I, all that take to attract a millionaire. A, to attract a man in your twenties, if you're physically appealing, is no different than attracting a man on fries at McDonald's. But I'm trying to understand why so many of our black women feel like walking around with bonnets and flip flops and house shoes and, and, and not being physically appealing is the thing to do. It's like, it's like in our community, it's like a badge of honor to be busted. Because I'm deep and I'm not, and I'm not letting no man take advantage. That don't sound like nothing to be proud of. And and, and that's and, and I and I stated all that to say I'm coming out of that. So I I'm but one thing about me, I am a woman to the fullest. Meaning I can be I, I can be I can admit when I'm wrong, and I can take. Uh, well, the reason I reason I'm direct because you're 36 years old. You 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 have no little you have no time. I have no time. You're right. So I'm so I'm, so I'm, so, I'm, so the magic. So like, how tall are you? I'm I'm. I'm no, no, just no, 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 don't, don't show, no, no, we don't have to do all that. Okay, hold okay. the camera right there. <laughs> I'm doing yeah, well, you're doing too much yes, now. Doing hold, hold on, you're doing, hold on, hold on. You're making a, you're making a camera go crazy. You're doing too I'm much. Sorry. Just chill out. Yeah, um, competition is stiff. Men are visual. Yes. You talking about you want a, an old school man, a traditional man, and you want kids? Yeah. How many kids do you want? I want two, a girl and a boy. You can pick those. You can only pick the quantity. Um, then do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? Well, that's the thing. I got my real estate license, so I don't... Yes or no? I plan to help if I'm answering the question correctly. Well, I plan to work, work to pay significant bills, meaning if you don't work, the family's still fine. Yes. So you do want to have to work to make sure the family's okay, or you don't yes. want to have to work. Yes. I want to I wanna build enough assets generational what wealth is my plan. we can't we can't be generational wealth i mean so we got, we just gotta we gotta pay the rent first we got we, black women talk a lot of this shit nine percent of y'all make over seventy five thousand dollars a year well i'm saying i got real estate deeds so I, don't, I, don't, I don't i don't care if you got real estate deeds i mean you can do that's paperwork do okay. you have do you have it you have the money in the bank account and the paychecks and the commission checks to support anything i'm working on that then no. then, then that's a no so no. see Far too many of our women talk, and I want to build generational wealth. You can't build generational wealth as an individual. You need a husband, and you need multiple things going on. But before that, you got to get a man. And what I'm asking is, how are you going to attract that man if, if you, you got your real estate license in the last 10, 20, 10, 15 years? You've just been doing something else at 36 years old when the competition is still. And this, according to you, you do want to, what percentage of the, here's a question, what percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Out of 100%, what percent do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Honestly, I want my husband to do all of that. If, if I'm so, being honest. Okay, so you want to be responsible for zero percent. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be responsible for when my husband needs. Uh 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 uh. No no no, right. no 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 no. See, at thirty six, 
<laughs> you should be able to answer these questions. I'm asking you, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with your first child? And you say, I want to help. Uh -uh. What percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for your generational wealth you're talking about building? What? All of it. All of it. Just okay. all, all okay. of it. Okay, you're missing the question. All of I it am. means you're providing 100%. Okay. Out of a hundred percent, out of hundred percent of the mortgage, the retirement, the car, the college loans, the trips, the vacations, everything. What percentage of that whole number for a lifetime do you want to have to be responsible for? Fifty. Okay, that means if you don't work, the family is in jeopardy. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to answer this question wrong because I guess I'm honestly not getting the question the way I need yeah, to get the, it. Yeah, well, the, the question is, you say you want your husband to be responsible for all of the money, and then in the next breath, you want to be responsible for 50%. How about this? Let me ask you right now. If you never marry, right? Never been married. If, no, no, no. If you never get married in your lifetime, right? Okay, there we go. What, what percentage of your, fa your financial load are you going to have to carry? All of it. Right. So if you get married, what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to carry? All of it. I don't know. I'm slow. I'm slow, Kevin. I'm sorry. I'm so, I don't. That's a trick question. It's not a trick question, ma'am. It's math. If you work, you got to pay all your bills. Yes. If it's just me by myself. But if you're yes. married, do you want your... So... That's a husband. You want to be responsible for all of it means you're responsible for what you need, what he needs, and what all the kids and the pets and everybody need. That means no, you No, I don't want that. If I get married, I want my husband to bear most of the bearing. What's most my... of? What's most of? 80%. Okay, and see this is the problem. I'm just why is this so painful? Because ma'am, you're over almost 40 years old, and no disrespect. Okay. You haven't even thought about a financial structure. It's like, y'all just walk around through life and expect this shit to just happen when it comes to men. Can so I listen. Okay. No, no, I gave you plenty. I gave, I, I, I gave the basic two plus two is four questions. So many different ways. And the reality is, y'all don't think about this stuff. Y'all just, because see, what you really think is, when I get married, I want to attract a man and he going to take care of it all. So I ain't got to think about it. I can live what I'm doing right now and, he, and later on. So whatever I got as far as debt, student loan debt, credit card debt, my man, should, he's supposed to come in and build. And most men don't make that kind of money. Can I chime in my perspective? Because I don't want to get booed. I don't want to get go, go ahead. I don't want to get go kicked ahead. off. I don't go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All I, my perspective to all of that is just this, uh, Mr. Samuels. Because I've been doing it for so long, my brain is me, 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 me. I'm, I, even though what you're about to say doesn't matter, it's all paperwork. But in my brain, from trying to just build or have a lifestyle or, a, or whatever, it's been me, me, me. So, so then, why, husband, so, so then, so, so when get, you get a husband, so if I get a I, husband, uh -huh. if I get a husband. I honestly do not expect him to do everything what I but want. But you want him to do, but, but hold on, but you want him to do 80% of it. So that means, listen, that means you go from having to do 100% to take care of you to only having to do 20% to take care of you and some kids and a man. That's a hell of a deal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so. What kind of men make the kind of money to be able to take on a wife and have two children to where she's only going to have to provide, at best, 20%? That 1% of men, the high, a small, a small mm -hmm. pool. Uh -huh. Right. And, what, and, and, and due respect, ma'am, do you think you can secure one of those? Uh, I have. I, I feel I can, yes. yes. At 36 yes. years? Yes, I feel I can. Okay, this is where the ranking stuff start coming in. Dress right. size? At this present moment with the braids and everything. No, no, dress, up, dress size? And guys, before we move into the next phase of the conversation, I just want to quickly chip in with something. And with that, I encourage you to keep checking the Godfather's videos on YouTube. 
Kevin Samuels. He has so much amazing content. And his soul should rest in perfect peace. He has done so much service to the black community and just humanity as a whole. Not just black people, but just human beings in general. Because this video, like it or not, other races of women can also relate to it. And even the men learning something from it. Other races of men are also learning something from it. So it's just human being in general. So thanks to his name. But adding something small to the video, the question from minute 6 to 14 has been, what percentage of the family financial load would you want to take for a lifetime? And it is very difficult for this lady to factorize it and be able to break it down. Okay, maybe I want to take 10%, 20%, 15%, 100%, whatever the case may be. And not just 100%, because no lady want to take 100%. And I think one of the reasons why it's very difficult for her to answer this question is the fact that grandfather put her on the spot. Most women don't want to be asked this type of a question because they just don't want to even contribute even 1%. That's the reality. Most women just want to just exist in the relationship and just basically be useless. Like, they just don't want to contribute anyhow financially to the family. So putting them on the spot, they are forced to answer this type of question. So they basically don't know what to say that is going to sound right in the ears of the audience. So that's why they scorn around and do all those things and sometimes pretend like I'm slow and all. It's not that you are slow. It's just the fact that you know that you like you just don't want to contribute anything. Because she stated it even in the video. She said she want to be able to help when her husband needs her. And that doesn't sound to me like wanting to be responsible to something. Let's keep going. Oh, oh I'm small. I'm, I'm like a size seven. Seven. How tall are you? Five, six. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? I weighed 158. And on a scale from zero to 10, from one to 10, you can't use seven. Straight out of the shower, your hair, no makeup. What do you rank yourself? 10. No makeup, 10. Ten. <laughs> Ten. It's just, I guess it's just my confidence. Ten. Take that confidence to a bank account with zero money and see how confident the ATM give you any money out. I'm not fist to try to. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, man. When I'm you listening. do, when y'all do shit like this, then it starts making me want to start act a fool. You really think I you're a 10? 10. I don't uh, care. I don't care what you feel. I feel like I don't, I'm not going to say nothing less. I don't, you asked me a question. This is, and this is, and this is why you'll be, this is why women like you die alone. You can feel like you're a 10, but ma'am, you're not a 10. A 10 means you're supermodel looks. Well, I mean, it's like in women in general, black women in particular feel like I'm a 10, I'm going to say I'm a 10 no matter what. But I don't feel it's just, I don't feel in looks though. I don't feel it's Well, that's the problem. Looks. But see, that's the problem though. See, how do we get here? You're 36 years old and you ain't worried about your looks. That's true. I and that's why, that. well, there you go. So you obviously don't understand what it takes to get the kind of man you're talking about. That's why 100% of, that's why you got such a single woman's mindset because the way you're setting yourself up, thinking about I'm only having to do for me, 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 and not worry about how I look and carry myself, and then thinking at 36 years old, you can just turn around and, and then I'm a, I'm a 10 and I'm going to get a man to pay 80% of the... That ain't how that works. Well, that's why I wanted to get on this call so I can be set straight. I you want know, to set enough straight, man. I, I mean, okay, but see, you want to hear it, but what I'm not getting is a realistic answer. Do you really think that if I put you next to Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and Rihanna, you in that line of women. You, well, as far as the, looks. I've been in the same room with them. I don't care about being okay. in the same room with you, man. As far as as far as far physical That's what I'm talking about. No. no. That's the, but that's the question I asked you. I thought you just said, how do, do I feel I'm a 10? I no, I, I said, what do you rank yourself? What do you rank your looks? I thought you said, what do I hey, rank myself? Okay, No. Okay. It's the same question. If you watch me, it's the same question. Okay. As far as yellow soap, blood, yellow soap, yes. So as your no. face, one to ten. You cannot use seven. Fresh face, no makeup, right out of the shower. Six. 
That's come on now, come on now. I'm a, come on now, give me something now. Uh, I'm just. I'm, I'm not saying we've already gone beyond. And see, the thing is, one of the problems I find with many modern women is you guys lack self-awareness and humility. I mean, it's just y'all are just like the y'all are the shit. See, that's what see, that's what I was afraid of, and I and I wanted to put a disclaimer out before you connected with me because I pray every day that I work on my attitude, that I work on how I'm being perceived. Um, I try not to talk as much when I'm out in public. I try to ask questions and just not waste too much air and too much breath. So I'm, I'm, I feel I'm very aware of how I act and how others perceive me. And I don't, I, trust me, I, I pray up and down that I do you not pray, be You pray, women. God ain't got nothing. Okay, okay. But if you want to be married. Okay. And you know men are visual. Yes. I know they're visual. Maybe this, maybe this. No, no, no. I need you to listen. I need you to listen. Okay, I'm listening. You, you're praying that a man accepts you the way you are. Okay, yeah, it might be true. You're right. That means, he, that, means that means the kind of man you want would have to settle. Ooh, okay. The reason why she brought up that fish expression is the fact that she sees herself as a priceless jewel and. Regardless of how much a man is making, she is going to be settled for a man. So that's why she brought up that facial expression. This is a realistic thing that if she happened to get a guy that is making like, you know, six figures or something, it's something that she really deserve. No. Based off looks, she says she's a six. So if you're a six, that makes you not be in the top, you know, 10% of females. You know, that, that, this is logic. So if you get a man that is in the top 10% of men across the United States, that means that man has settled. And even to the point that she says she's a six, I think, you know, most people in the comment section will be questioning whether or not she's really a six. Because I'm not trying to be an ass, like an asshole, but the thing is, if Godfather always rate someone like Beyonce as an A, there is no way this lady... It's a six. Keep it real here. This lady is not a six. I would say probably, you know, four, five at best. And I think that's what Godfather would definitely want to give this type of a lady. I mean, I'm listening, you, I'm listening to a woman who says, I, I, I've been in this room, I've been in this room. When I was in my 20s, when I looked a certain way, I got this. But the last 16 years, it's just been whatever. No. Like two two years, two years. I've been under construction. Two years, I've been under construction. I've been single for two years. I've been under construction. How long was your last relationship? Seven years. Why didn't you guys get married? He wanted to marry me. I don't. I wasn't in love with him. I was not well, in love with him. <laughs> so you spent seven years with somebody. Didn't you? I, I found out some things about him in year one or year seven. In year seven. Then you, that makes no sense. No matter how you slice it. That makes no sense. And was he a millionaire? He was. A, he, he, I'm not going to say he was a millionaire, but I've seen, but he was a general contractor. The business was making millions. The business was making the business millions. business ain't, okay, but that doesn't mean, okay. Uh, that's so, all I'm saying. So you don't, so, so this man wanted to marry you. But I felt he was a homosexual. That's why I uh, on the low. That's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to sleep with him. I. And this I is your that, boyfriend, right? This was my boyfriend, and in year seven, I suspected homosexuality, and I didn't want to deal with it. Oh Lord Jesus! Lord I know. You're I going know. to world star. You are good. You are outside of your ever loving mind. I'm just telling you. Asking there, year you. seven. Year seven. So year one through six. There was some time apart. Holy Jesus, 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 holy J
you you call him your boyfriend. Okay, okay. And year he one, wanted to marry you. Let, okay, let me be honest. In year one, it was in year one, it was more of a employer employee. When I first met him, I was the employee. It started off. Ma'am, you said he was your boyfriend for seven years. We dated in that first year after I stopped working for him. We did start dating that first year I met him. Yes, when I stopped working for the company. Only worked for the company for a few months. I don't care about the work, ma'am. I care about you said you were in a relationship for seven years. Well, maybe I'm getting the word relationship. Maybe my view of relationship and your view of relationship is you mean? I'm, 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 off. Because it wasn't. I asked you if it was your boyfriend. Yes, it was my boyfriend. Was it a monogamous, committed relationship? It was not a committed relationship. And it's not a... Mm. It was not committed. It was not right. committed. And Bless I say heart. that because he was cheating. He was doing what he was doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It wasn't a perfect... Mm. It was, I, don't, I don't get it, Mr. Senator. Can I just say this? We are relationships aren't perfect. No, ma'am. No, I don't need to hear any psychobabble bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Did okay. you claim this man as your boyfriend? I did. And did he claim you as his girlfriend? He... That's a yes or no? No. No. So was, how are you in a relationship? I was, I was so how one are you of in a, his girlfriend. No, 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 no. Not, not sort of. See, when a relationship happens, there's a conversation. You my lady, I'm your man, we ain't seeing nobody else. And you don't just go around as a grown-ass person for seven years without a conversation. So I guess our relationship was I couldn't see anyone else, but I but I never caught him doing anything. And nobody could you caught no. Okay. Did y'all have a conversation to where y'all were supposed to be the couple? Yes, I, we lived together. Yes, we were a couple. We, we did live Ooh, together. Oh yes. shit. We did live together. Yes. Hmm. Living that that together but separate. How long have you been in therapy? Hmm. How long have you been in therapy? I've never been a therapist. You need to go tomorrow. I need to go tomorrow. Oh, yes. But I'm, I'm fully aware of all my flaws. No, 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 no. Ma'am, you, you can't even make this conversation make sense. Because the relationship didn't make sense. No, no, you live with somebody. See, the way you're trying to talk the story is in once in one half of a sentence, he's your boyfriend. In yes. another half, we're not really in a committed situation. Yes. But you live with the motherfucker. Yes. Exactly. No, ma'am. No, no, you. I'm listening. And this is the mind you're taking out into the marketplace. Talk about I'm a 10. And I want somebody to pay 80% of the bills for me and my two kids through life. That's that's what I that's what I put myself in, yes. Because the it, and I don't and it wasn't for love, it was for money. For me on my end. So yes, I'm being just putting so it out there. for money for money. Cause see, when I ask you why you're in it for seven years, the first thing that comes out of most of you women's mouth is a reason to why you're not accountable. It was either abuse, adultery, some, some sort of toxic or undercover gay. Y'all never just say, you know what? I fucked up and chose some chose poorly, and I didn't and I didn't get a formal relationship, so I don't get any formal recognition. I just wasted seven years of my life, and I was dumb for doing that. You'll yes. always blame the man. No, I'm not trying to. Did I try to blame him? You, what'd you say? I said, why? I said, I said, how what was your last relationship? Two years ago. How long it last? Seven years. Why didn't y'all get married? He wanted to marry me. So that means he did his part. But I didn't want to marry him. Because. Here comes the stop. Here comes the excuse. Because I suspected homosexual tendencies. And I said, in year one or year seven? In year seven. So that meant year zero. Through six was no fucking problem. And if he wanted to marry you, you should have married him if this was a relationship. But in order to not be at fault, you got to somehow blame him in year seven so he can wash hands of year one through seven. Okay. You're Same right. shit all the time. I know. I know. That's You're why right. That's why people that. tune in. I know. And, and I was, and I and that's fun. why. No, no. I but that's why people him. tune in. It don't I matter you why him. you loved it. You didn't love him, but you live with him. Did I you pay your bills? The money. I was, mm -hmm. I was in. I was Did he pay your bills? I Did he pay your bills? Yeah. Okay. All well, bills. well, okay. He didn't. He paid your bills. You didn't love him. Fine. You didn't get any commitment out of him. Fine. I just ask. Most women 
Non-black women would not live with nobody for that long. They going y'all. It's like black women feel like marriage is such a big fucking deal. Y'all have babies and live with somebody and deal with somebody, but you won't marry them. Now, 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 today, my attitude today. Now, that was the young-minded attitude that I just discussed with you, because I was young-minded when I was in that situation. Now, the mature of me, the mature side of me, I've been. Don't don't cuss me out. I've been. I ain't cussing you out. Okay, I'm just saying don't don't celibate. don't. Don't be, I, well, okay, because I know you're going to go there. I know you're going to go there. I've been just trying to get to learn me. I haven't been dating. I haven't okay. been. Uh, uh -huh. how, long, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for like three years now. And you haven't had therapy, but you're doing this on your own? This is what I mean. I wouldn't say I'm doing it on my own because I, okay, I, I, I have a lot of faith. I have okay, a lot of faith exactly. I Thank you. Faith. I was about to even take it out of my words. You cannot make this shit up, people. Black women have anaphylactic shock when it comes to marriage. And then they're the, they have a best counsel because they got Jesus. You no, cannot make this Jesus. shit. Uh, faith, God, say. whatever. You ain't doing the real work. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May his soul rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever, guys. I think this guy has done humanity a great service like i always say i don't think it's just the black community but i think all races across the world i think everyone can always relate to his video regardless you know he's just always making it real and keeping it real with us all you know so i think he deserves a whole lot of credit and i think we gotta make sure that we have to be able to maintain this guy's name because what we would have been expecting is for his name to go in the books so that people will be studying in school and all that but me and you know very well that it's just not gonna happen so what we can do is just you know online low reactions you know posting his videos here and there and you know it is what it is so yeah credit to his name but to the video i think it's not only this lady that just thinks that okay jesus christ can get her the kind of man that she will want most black women always think that oh with the bad attitude and all those things if i'm praying to jesus christ jesus christ will bring me a perfect man that is going to accept me for who i am whatever i am you know that's always their mindset that's why when you are talking about some of these things they will tend to make it look like it's a spiritual conversation so i'm praying so if i'm not being offered a man I'm doing my part, but it's just that Jesus Christ is not giving me the man that I deserve, no? You are not putting in the work. You're just being delusional, thinking that, oh, with prayers, you are going to get the kind and caliber of man that you want to accept you for who you are. Man, we don't have the privileges of thinking this way, that, oh, I'll just be lazy and pray to Jesus Christ to bring me a supermodel. As men, we understand these things, but females have the privileges of being delusional, and thinking that, oh, just because you have Jesus Christ as a black person, you can just pray to him. And regardless of your flaws, he is just going to provide you the result that you want. It's just not going to happen. You have to put in the work to get the kind of result that you are looking for. That's the reality on the ground. But like you were saying, you can't make this shit up. Our uh, women are always thinking because they get Jesus Christ, they're good. Like they are perfect to be married. They are perfect for a top earning man. Which in reality, me and you watching this video know that is delusion. She says she's a turn and that's how she feel about herself. The problem is most of them, when you ask them this question, a question that they have to think, they start feeling. And whatever they are feeling that is what they're telling you when he asks her so if i put you close to beyonce and pangrel rihanna do you think that are you going to be the same product now she stepped into her logic and realized mm, the way they look i don't look the same way so it means i'm not up there and if beyonce is an eight then realistically i gotta reduce my number being a 10 from a 10 to a 6 and to be honest not trying to sound like an asshole but this lady will be five at best let's keep it real if beyonce is an eight 
I'm not saying she's a five, but if Beyonce is being ranked as an eight, this lady is not going to cross five. That's my opinion. You can also let us know what you think in the comment section. No hard feelings, no nothing. I'm just, you know, trying to be honest here. And simple questions she can't even answer it and thinking of building generational world and that is one of the delusions we always talk about when it comes to females simple simple questions that you just gotta you know reduce uh, multiply minus and be able to say okay maybe i want five percent of the family financial load or ten percent she cannot just factorize it and bring out a number and she's thinking of building a generational world and generational world someone that is living single and uh, like i always say sometimes i always think like women most of the things they say they just they just say it out they don't you know think of it deeply before they bring the answer out they just you know whatever that comes into their mind especially modern women that's how you know they talk you ask her something, whatever that comes to her mind, she don't question herself whether or not what I'm about to say doesn't make sense or not. She's just saying it. You are single and you are talking of generational world. 36 year old. And it is what it is. You know, with the banners and all that. When he asks her, raise yourself on the scale of, she said with the banners and braces and all. See? Because she knows that she's not up there, she has to start to make certain things to make it look like, oh, because of this, this, and that, that's why I'm not up there. But honestly speaking, when the conversation started and I saw her, I was thinking that was a man. Just the picture alone that came first, I was thinking that was a man before the voice started coming and I realized that that was a female. You know, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but let's keep it real. I think most of you even watching, when you saw it the first time, you were thinking that was a man. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May his soul rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Until we meet in the next video, peace. I'm out.